All right, guys, and we're back. Uh, the naphtha has had time to flash off, um, so now we are going to take. And you know, you're looking for. You saw how dark this was before, and you see how it's back to this kind of like lighter um, shade here. Uh, now, you know, the naphtha has evaporated, and we don't have to worry about that um, giving us trouble on down the road. So we're going to take our tight bond here, and I like to do just kind of a little zigzag pattern. Um, along here to kind of start with my glue. Normally I do the other one first so I don't drag my arm through it. <laughs> but uh, hey, live TV, what are you gonna do, you know? Um, so that kind of gets us a little prep there. Uh, take a little acid brush, these things, I think they're called acid brushes, I'm actually not entirely sure. Uh, but they're you know, super cheap, you know, a couple of cents. Um, you buy a, a bag of them and uh, you know, you go through them eventually, but uh, you know, kind of use that guy. Um, you can also use your finger or a small piece of scrap wood, old credit card. Some people have fancy uh, silicone brushes. I just happen to use these guys. Actually, this one would appear to have a little bit of a. I must have used this one a little bit. Of, um, Staying near it, got a little bit of black bleeding out here. It won't hurt anything, it'll be fine. Um, so, anyway, we come through, kind of spread that glue out a little bit. Um, that all kind of worked in there. You want a good 100% coverage here. And the reason why is because that's going to feed down into the pores of that. And I always go both sides in a thin layer that covers everything as opposed to a big goopy layer. It just creates a lot of mess and cleanup at the end. So you know, here we've got a real thin layer, but it's covered everywhere. Um, and we kind of give these a little bit of a wiggle. Um, you know, feel them kind of settle into one another. Uh, again, these are book mash. Um, take a couple of small clamps and we'll place them down here at the ends to kind of keep these from, you know, um, bouncing around on us. So, try to keep everything as uh, consistent and flat as possible, but, you know, things slip and slide sometimes with the glue, etc. Uh, so, it's always nice to kind of just reinforce. The work you've done there. So we'll kind of start snugging these uh, K clamps up. Not too much on one side or the other, too quack, too quickly. Quackly, huh? Sound like the two mallards I got out there on the river. Uh, so you just kind of, you know, snug them up as you go. A little bit here, a little bit there, back and forth until you feel it kind of start to give you some resistance and you're done. Um, and you see by using a little bit of glue, we only have a little bit of this uh, um, lead out here. Now, I could wipe this right now, but because there's such a small amount of it, I'm actually gonna let this flash off for uh, 20 minutes or so and this will get a little gummy. And at that point, it'd be real easy to just slide a chisel across there and just peel that whole piece off. Um, you should have some squeeze out here on the back as well, as you can see, we do. Um, you know, and that's a sign of that you got good glue everywhere. You got a nice clean line all the way down through there. Uh, it looks nice, and we'll just let this sit overnight. Um, tomorrow I'll uh, unclamp this and uh, clean it up, and she'll be ready to uh, cut into shape and make a body out of. So, thanks for watching, guys.